Welcome back to our virtual ocean adventure. We're diving to around 500 meters below the surface in this video, and only faint sun rays can reach these depths. Welcome to the Twilight Zone. Compared to the previous parts of the ocean we've explored, there are fewer animals living in the Twilight Zone. So what does live here? Animals like whales, swordfish and octopuses enjoy living in this zone, despite the cool temperature of approximately 4 degrees Celsius. So why are there less animals inhabiting this level? Due to the depth of the water, there's very little sunlight. Without sunlight, photosynthesis can't happen. So the green plants that create their energy this way cannot live here. As there are no plants here, there is less food, so there are far fewer animals. Some of the creatures that live here feed by filtering the water. Others will still travel up towards the surface to feed. Let's find out more about one of the animals that does spend time in the twilight zone, the octopus. Octopuses are ocean-dwelling invertebrates. There are about 300 species of them, and they can be found in all the oceans of the world. They spend a lot of time living in dens made from rocks, which they build themselves by moving rocks using their arms and suckers. Let's find out more. An octopus has eight arms, each with two rows of suction cups underneath. Two of these arms are stronger and can be used more like legs. The muscular bulbous shape on top of their head is called a mantle, and it contains all the octopus's internal organs. Water is pulled into the mantle cavity and pushed out of the siphon. This helps the octopus swim quickly and change direction. And here's a fun fact. An octopus has three hearts, one that pumps blood through the organs and two that pump blood through the gills. So life as an octopus sounds okay, but what about predators? Eels, sharks, dolphins and beaked whales all think an octopus is a tasty treat. But the octopus has some superpowers to help evade their predators. Let's find out what makes the octopus the superhero of the Twilight Zone. They can shoot a dark liquid called ink that creates a black cloud in the water, giving the octopus time to escape. They can swim up to speeds of 25 miles per hour using a siphon, a muscular tube in their body, which they push water out from. Octopuses belong to the invertebrate family and don't have any actual bones in their bodies. This means they can squeeze themselves into tiny spaces to escape. They can change colour in an instant, so can camouflage themselves and hide. They can also change the texture of their skin to blend in with their surroundings even more. Shall we put these superpowers to the test? Let's play Spot the Octopus. Can you spot where the octopus is in each of these pictures? Did you find them? Notice how they've changed the texture and color of their skin. There's three more hiding here. Can you spot the octopus? These creatures are definitely the masters of disguise. It's been fascinating exploring life in the Twilight Zone. What will we discover as we head even deeper into the ocean? Join us in the next part of our virtual ocean adventure when we'll be exploring the Midnight Zone, the Abyss and the trenches of the ocean floor. Remember, you can download your virtual ocean adventure resource pack on the link below this video. See you next time.